Hi guys, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how I do uh, rainbow pet portraits. Um, they're really easy. I've been doing them for like a year and a half. And they're uh, super easy to place the color. A lot easier than the watercolor ones where you got to look at where you're placing your color. So I just sketched my dog Luna. If you want to see how to sketch your dog, go to episode one and I do an in-depth tutorial there. So we're starting with our sketch on a 2500 by 2500 canvas. And we're gonna use only uh, Procreate brushes that come pre-installed in Procreate. So I have my sketch and I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna place my new layer underneath of my sketch layer. We're gonna use maybe six layers all together for this after our sketch layer. So we have our layer and we're gonna go to the painting. And we're gonna go to Jagged Brush and I don't want one too big. Okay, about 3% on this. And we're gonna go to our colors and I just have rainbow colors set out. Um, you wanna have a palette set because you're gonna use uh, these colors again in lighter colors. So I'm gonna start with some blue. And for these, it does not matter at all where you put the color. So I'm just gonna plop it around everywhere here. That's why these ones are so easy. And we'll do some orange. doesn't matter what colors you use. I, um, I actually made one of these and had it printed on a dog blanket. That turned out super amazing. So I'll post that in the Procreate group so you guys can see that too. Now we got our colors. We're gonna go to the wand up here and we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur. And we're going to just slide it to the right so it's a little bit blurred out. Like that. Then we're gonna create a new layer. And this layer, we're gonna use the same brush and we're going to pick our colors. And for this one, we're just gonna add some of those colors around some of these lines right here. Some of our sketch lines, we're just gonna add some color underneath of those. We're gonna use different colors, so just keep picking the colors that you used and keep adding those under some of the lines. Let's do some orange. And I'm gonna do some more of this light blue. So light this up. Now we're gonna add some white, oops. So we're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna color pick the background, hold our finger, pick our white. And we're going to just add some white in some of the highlight areas where the dog sticks out. Okay, and then we're gonna Gaussian blur that white. So we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur. I'm gonna slide it, not too much, but just enough. And then we're gonna add another layer. We're gonna do white again. But this layer, we're not going to Gaussian Blur. Doesn't have to be in the same spots, just add in your white. 
your white. Okay, and then we're going to create another new layer. And this layer, we're gonna place over our sketch layer. We're gonna make the lines a little, the brush a little bit smaller. And we're going to pick our thing. Okay. And we're gonna turn the opacity down just a little bit here. Okay. And now we're going to draw over some of our sketch line. Not all of them, but just enough just to cover up some of them. Remember drawing over them, not under them this time. And we can use different colors. I'm gonna use some more of this bright blue color. You don't have to do all the lines, just some of them. Okay. And then we're gonna create another layer and this layer is gonna go underneath of all of our layers we've made so far. I'm gonna change the opacity on about 50%, make it a little bit bigger. Pick whatever color you'd like to use, and this is gonna go behind our color, just to give it a little bit. We're just gonna go around the dog a little bit just to give it some color on the outside. And I usually just stick two, maybe three colors for doing this, but usually just two. Like that. And then I want to go to my sketch layer and I want to color in her eye. So I'm gonna make that full opacity and see what purple looks like. Go. And then you add another layer underneath of all those. You combine all of your layers together. And then on the layer underneath of our painted layer, you can add your canvas texture if you want. You don't have to do a canvas texture and then multiply that on there. Or you could just leave it as is as a PNG, which would look like that. So for my canvas, I'm going to use a downloaded brush canvas that I have, cold pressed paper and a light gray. I'm going to put that underneath of that. And then I'm going to go to my painted layer and I'm going to hit multiply. And then I'm going to go to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness and turn my saturation up just a little bit. And that's what it would look like.